So here's my message for the folks at Lowe's who made the decision, and frankly, anybody out there of sound mind who has considered getting behind this growing anti-Muslim bias. You're better than this. You know that the history of this country and of this world never, ever looks kindly on this kind of marginalization that you've endorsed with your actions. And whether it was against Irish Americans or Jewish Americans or African Americans, the history books make sure that this kind of exclusionary politics becomes a stain on the reputation of anyone who takes part in it. That was Congressman Chris Murphy calling out home improvement retail chain Lowe's on the House floor today. Why? Well, the company pulled its ads from a show called All American Muslim. The reality show airing on TLC follows five Muslim families living in Dearborn, Michigan. Take a look. The city of Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn is a whole nother world. Being in Dearborn has allowed us to practice our faith without losing our sense of American patriotism. So why would Lowe's pull ads from a show like that? Because one right-wing group told it to? Lowe's and scores of other companies had been the target of a campaign by the Florida Family Association. The group claims the show, quote, is propaganda that riskily hides the Islamic agenda, clear and present danger to American liberties and traditional values. So what we have here is a major American company, Lowe's, caving to bigotry. The Florida Family Association, you might think, must be a pretty large and influential group to be able to pull off a stunt like this. Well, according to Think Progress, the group has only one paid staff member. It's President David Caton, and he's a real winner. Well, the, sh the show portrays these five Muslim families that are um, not representative of the entire Muslim faith. Uh, Muslim is defined in all the dictionaries as those who follow uh, Islam. And I beg uh, anybody to find an imam in any mosque in this country that believes that Sharia should not apply uh, to the people in America. Let's turn to Dearborn, Michigan, Mayor Jack O'Reilly. Mr. O'Reilly, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. How emotional is this subject in your community, and, and what's the community reaction? Well, since it's a, a continuum of an onslaught that's been going on for some time, we're beginning to, to you know, take it in stride in the sense that we understand that there are these people out there who are just putting out, and you, it's been said already, propaganda, things that are, are to create fear, and then the fear is to get their emotions aroused. And it, it, it concerns us greatly, but it's, it's becoming something of a, a fixture in the, the fabric of our, our country. Dearborn has the highest population of Muslims in America. What does this group in Florida not know about the members of your community? Well, first of all, it isn't the highest number, it's the largest concentration. Actually, just in um, Detroit area alone, we have about 34,000 uh, Muslims in Dearborn, or 35,000 actually Arab Americans, not all Muslims, quite honestly. And that's only 10% of the total number that are in just southeast Michigan, in the Detroit area. Uh, yeah. So um, it, it's really that we have multi-generational, we have been the home of mosques and Muslims for a long time, much longer than many other communities. Do you, do you believe the show gives an accurate portrayal of Muslim Americans in, in Dearborn, Michigan? Uh, not necessarily in the, oh, the breadth of it. it. What it really does is portray that Muslim Americans are like all other Americans. They practice their faith according to the way they choose to. Uh, they interpret it in their own ways. And, uh, and they have the same concerns, interests that we do. They, they're, they're, they're just like us in terms of what they think about on a day-to-day -day basis and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you think Lowe's should do about this? Do you think that they have d done a uh, misstep here? Uh, you know, Lowe's, unfortunately, is, is an issue. But if we focus on that, we're distracted from the bigger issue, which uh, Representative Murphy talked about. It's this whole thing about people who are trying to promote some sort of disenfranchisement, some sort of isolation where we want to, to freeze out Muslims from our, our, uh, from our country, freeze them out, make them unwelcome, uh, not accept them. Uh, that's really tragic, and it certainly goes against. These are people who claim to love America, and yet they're yeah. going against its basic tenets. Well, do you think that people should boycott Lowe's? 
uh, uh, well, I'm not sure because then it shifts it. What we really need to do is have people begin to think about this whole thing. Look at the show and see these people. These are people in my community. I know all of them. I, you know, some I know just tangentially, some I know very well. But they're people in our community. So look at them. See, this is what the group is afraid of. This is what people don't want. They're afraid that if people actually see what real American Muslims look like, how they behave, they're going to realize, gee, they're just like people in my community. They're just like people down the street from me. And therefore, then that fear, the fear that drives the hate, will be dissipated. And that's what they're afraid of. All these people who want us to hate people because they have an agenda yeah. don't want people to see them behaving in normal ways. So how do you think David Caton is a hate merchant? I, I think so. I mean, he's one of many, and he makes money on it. I mean, one of the fundamental things here, you, know, you have to look, I mean, it's beware of private interests masquerading as public virtue. This man collects donations, as does Terry Jones, who's visited us in the past, as does Act 17 Apologetics. These people who are making an issue about disenfranchising Muslims from America all have ways that you can donate online, you can use credit cards. I don't know about him, but I know the others do. In other words, this is also a way of supporting themselves. Yeah. <coughs> Mayor Jack O'Reilly, I appreciate your time tonight from Dearborn, Michigan. I appreciate it so much.